had this made for her by her father. This dollhouse is approximately 100 years old, a little bit more than that now. He did the whole thing. He did the stucco on the walls and the roofing and the windows. Everything was made by hand. And so as I'm proud to be able to present this to everybody. And the people here love it because they can relate to it. A lot of people do ask, what is the Eden alternative? And for us, it is um, embedded in our culture. And the philosophy is to eliminate loneliness, helplessness, and boredom in the lives of our residents. This place has been more than I could ever expect. Some of the things that we have done to foster that Eden philosophy into our culture is we have universal job titles. So we are all called care partners, no matter your role in the organization, because we are all here to service our residents. People are really terrific. Uh, it was really a joy to be here, really. She's the sweetest little thing. She really is. She sits on my lap and she sleeps on Friday afternoons. It's very important to have animals in a facility assisted living because we're always kind of combating loneliness and boredom. That's part of our Eden philosophy is that we look for other sources to help our residents um, come out of depression or have something to care for so that they can feel good about themselves. So it's very important to have children visits, animal visits, plants, things that the residents can take care of. Welcome to Happy Father's Day, as I remember when my father taught me how to do carpentry. Marin remembered when they went on vacation and he brought back special rocks for me and made me shut up during the Packer games. Debbie remembers when she helped her dad as he made homemade wine. Carol says, I remember when he told me not to fight, but to make friends. <laughs> Pat says, I remember when he taught me all about all about baseball by taking me to the games. Louise says, I remember how he taught me all about putting plants in the ground. <laughs> yeah, just enough. Mary Ann says, I remember how he taught me about fishing. Oop. She's getting vicious. Jan says, I remember he said not to play in the mud. And Carol, he taught me how he would fix trucks and cars. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers around the world. We love you. Being in the workplace is a whole different experience from coming out of a class. Thank you because I just learned it from the book, but everything's different when you actually start doing it. So it took me a while to learn, but we had great um, trainers. It was a little bit scary at first because it was it's very fast paced. So at first things are kind of going around like, like crazy, you don't really know what's going on. But then once you're, you know, you're with someone who's training you for your entire first shift, you slowly adjust to it and you get used to it. So many of these experiences that they will get at Linden Grove will help them not only in college, but for the remainder of their career in healthcare. I want to go into trauma nursing, and working at Linden Grove is like a great opportunity for that. I really like this so far, and I think it's a really good experience to have, and I think this is a good place to start out if you want to you know, keep building on to your future. Oh, Brody is. <laughs> he is so wonderful. And he makes uh, the residents here so happy. Yeah, you're a good puppy. Brody, 
came here in uh, the, after the first week we adopted him. Everywhere I go, he goes. He follows me around, he plays, he enjoys visiting, going room to room to room. He's a real good boy. I knew he had to be a good boy to be able to bring him to Linden Grove as well, which was one of my goals. Sick. He can sit, he can lie down, uh, roll over. I like to throw treats on the floor or on his paws while he's laying there and tell him not to touch him, just to leave it, and he will leave it. It's amazing. Okay. He does bang, you know, bang, dead dog, and he falls over. Bang! People get a big kick out of that. And I had one resident actually, we did that trick in her room and she never leaves the room. and. Just to hear her laugh out loud. She was just the loudest chuckle you ever heard, and it just warmed my heart. You did so good. Can you give me a high five? High five! Yay! The first time I got involved with this, but I enjoy it. I love gardening. I always did. These are cucumbers that I'm going to, I have seeds, I'm going to replant them this afternoon. It's been a long winter, so it's very welcoming to me to see this and uh, residents taking care of the garden. The garden club exists for the people who are interested in, in growing things. If they are interested, we easily find out about it and each one follows his own interests. Personally, it's the gratification and just the feeling of being appreciated and knowing that you're doing something for someone or a family member or like just a family in general. Hi, John. It makes my heart feel good knowing that I've done something good today. You know, every day. See you later. To become a successful CNA, you have to be focused, energetic, and willing to learn new things because every single day is a new experience that comes with the job. It doesn't just affect the individual, it affects the whole family, the whole support structure. It doesn't have any discrimination on who it affects and for that reason it brings us all together. With our industry, we see Alzheimer's so much, uh, not just in our clientele, but also in our own families. So the Alzheimer's Association is something that really supports both sides of our lives. And so it's really important to a lot of our workers that also come out here on Saturday on their own time because they want to participate and it matters to them as well. It's something that's beautiful. It's not all that difficult. It just takes a lot of patience. Um, and instruction, and once they learn it, they're hooked. My artistic ability is like stick people. So <laughs> this makes it very easy, and then when you pull the tape off, you can see how pretty it looks. When you're done, there is something to be proud of. I get the joy of seeing people successful when they don't think they can be. Everybody can do it, and everybody ends up with a beautiful product that's just unique to them. All right, are we ready? 143, should we go see? Hello, did somebody say they wanted to see Rex today? It's amazing to see the residents and the change in them when they see him coming down the hall and just how happy they are to see him. He is a gentle soul and spirit and he's just wonderful to have here. They love him. He just is a very intuitive dog. He just seems to know when somebody's vulnerable. Rexy, right here, come a little closer. Rex, come a little closer, buddy. There we go. Okay. If we all did three hours for somebody else in a week, just think about how much better everything would be. So we come every Wednesday, we come for an hour to an hour and a half. And in the grand scheme of seven days in a week and 24 hours all of those days, an hour and a half seems a little bit, just such a little bit to give to make people so happy. Well, I'm glad you came, Rex. Yeah. You made my day.